the big one, and Dublin fans on Twitter to us, you know, saying if the Rhino Dwyer sending off, turn the game. So Liam, you, you take us through that. You know Ryan, obviously. Yeah, from... it, like, it is a huge talking point, and I suppose the big talk is is, is the first incident, and you know you can you can see it here. You know, I mean, he's it is slightly mistimed, but but it's only slightly. I mean, he you know Luca Farrell is is small in stature, and Ryan comes in. I mean, he's very much on the edge player, but you know I, I would say that of of uh, of that you know there is he's very much definitely trying to get the shoulder yeah. of Luca Farrell, and uh, you know uh, James Owens had judged him to be that it was it was frontal, and obviously the frontal piece would would warrant yellow card. Uh, second one. Didn't lock on but locked and I mean he, he's going for the ball but you know clearly I think there's, there's very little argument on the second one that it's not a yellow card I think anyone watching the match would have no doubt that that is a second yellow card I think interestingly you know maybe if if it was reversed I think if he got that one first I don't think he would have got a yellow mm. card for the second one which meant he would have stayed in the pitch but I think he had no choice but to give him the the second yellow in that instance but I mean that's unfortunate for for, uh, for Ryan in this instance yeah. I mean it's always unfortunate to see a player being, being sent off and again it's a big talking point but I think but, that, you know, the second yellow is justified. I think there was a lot more question marks previously where maybe neither yellow card was, was justified. Yeah. But the fact that it came second, I think, if it was the other way around, I think he would have stayed in the pitch. Ali, one point that I have to put, make. The three of you were complimenting the referee, James Owens, during the first half. Look, I suppose, you know, you can come on every week and you can be uh, you know, engaging in, in, in referee bashing. But I think the one thing we all remarked was how James Owens facilitated the flow of the game. You know, like he, he could have, uh, uh, I suppose, stopped up every incident there and given freeze uh, willy-nilly but he didn't you know he made a conscious decision to let the game flow and I think that more than anything else uh, is, is what allowed the game to be so open and uh, and so competitive and I think that that is the way hurling should be played you know um, personally I'm a big fan of, of Brian Gavin because that's the way he referees the game you know and I suppose players know too that you don't step over the line I suppose in one sense you could make the argument that maybe Ryan O'Dwyer um, I suppose, it's, or, or James Owen rather was, I suppose, laying down the law by giving uh, Ryan O'Dwyer the yellow yeah, card so yeah. early on, you know. And that's a, yeah, it's a fair point. I suppose, you, have to, you know, sometimes I suppose refs are trying to, you know, do you let it go? And next thing you kind of have control loss of the match. So I suppose maybe James Owen was trying to stamp his authority there. Uh, for me, it wasn't, it was, you know, at that stage, yeah. you could probably give him the benefit of the doubt, give him a black book and tell him to keep it low. But I suppose it did contribute after that. I think there was nothing but honesty after that. I think players maybe react to referees and read a referee and they saw so straight saw away. Give a card and right, so don't so, do it. You know, yeah. but um, unfortunately for Ryan O'Dwyer, he's a, he's a very committed kind of a fella. He, you know, he wears his heart in his sleeve. He, he flies into Everton. But, you know, I suppose he... he and the broader scheme things he'd be disappointed, but the second one, I suppose, he knew straight away where he stood. And I think what we're, the point we we're making was the swing. Anthony Nash came out then and mm. popped that ball over the bar. Yeah. And that was a huge moment in the match. It definitely swung it in Cork's favour. Mm. Now, he was perhaps unlucky. Liam Rush, though, <laughs> you felt was lucky. Yeah. Um, this is pretty black and white, I think. I don't think there's any debate in this. Um, just held a little bit of Patrick Horgan, but that's. It's striking with force, and I, as I, said, I suppose you don't want to, you know, I think what really happened then, you know, James Owens takes his, I suppose it's, it's where it went as well, it could have been, it could have been a lot nastier, but um, in fairness to Patrick Horgan, he was nursing his tummy, he got up, James Owens, there's no doubt about it, he saw what happened, but I suppose realistically, um, what happened with Ryan Dwyer probably saved Liam Rush, and I think James Owens took a lot of time to make his decision, I think he thought long and hard about it, he gave him a good lecture, but I suppose when you look at some of the sendings off during this year, you'd have to question the consistency with it. I mean, so okay. was it a red card in your view? Without doubt, Ali. Uh, again, I suppose it was. But as a, as a hurling neutral, you know, everyone was glad that Liam Rush didn't get sent off. Now I know maybe James Owen is, is going to take flack because the adjudicators up in the stand are probably going to, you know, mm. uh, put down a red mark after that. But look, again, I think in the overall context of the game, I think it was good that he didn't. But yes, technically, it was definitely a sending off. Liam. Yeah, no argument. Uh, as Eddie said, it's not black. Or white. It's red. You know, I mean, that was that was a striking offence, uh, and uh, you know, he didn't really, he didn't even know where he was swinging. So I think in that instance, he he probably should have got his marching orders. But I think he benefited from the player being sent off earlier. Right. Well, Eddie, the sending offs. There were two sendings off. And yeah, um, I suppose following on from Liam's, you know, complimenting the free takers. I suppose the question is why. You know, it's a pity that we're after to talk about free takers, but this is the first one. Um, you know, uh, Shane Bennett, and it's wild. I mean, the danger when you swing like that with one hand is that you have no control, and you know, if a fella's head goes in there, well, you can't put. It's very hard so to pull out. red. It possibly could have, but this, um, you know, a tangle of legs and falling over, and 
you know, there's, there's no malice, there's no badness there to pull him down. Yeah, some people could say maybe he's fouling him out the field, but to, for me, that's not even related to a free. And I suppose, c cute enough, I suppose he was wearing a different jersey, so it was a good spot by the ref. But, um, you know, the second one here, it's, uh, you know, Owen Kenny. It's a, it's a good slap in now. It's, it, again, it's probably a yellow, you know. It's, again, there's no real badness in it. It's just, I suppose, a little bit rash. But, uh, again, this is the same thing again. Uh, you know, attempting to put in a genuine tackle, chasing a fella down, and it's disappointing because as long as I'm watching minor hurling matches in Croke Park, you know, the semi-finals, finals, I can't recall red cards. Young Colleen for Galway last year got one, two yellows, completely unnecessary, not mm. deserved. And I suppose unfortunately for Shane Horrigan, he's in the limelight today on this, uh, as he was during the week with Tip and Clare, and, you know, frees that should have been given that weren't given. And I just thought he was a little bit over fussy today and maybe didn't let the match develop. Liam, you were, you were irritated. Yeah, well, I just think for, for young lads, like, I mean, it's a big day in Crow Park for them, and, like, neither of them deserve to go, to go off. You know what I mean? For, for, for a kid of 17 years of age to have to walk to the sideline, I think there has to be malice in the stroke. And, like, for the two of them, I mean, if they were the other way around, I think I, I could maybe justify it if they had to give the yellow, the yellow for the yeah. first. But, but, I mean, he the knew that both... Legs, exactly, yeah. but he knew both of them were on yellows. And in, in both instances, I mean, common sense should have prevailed, and neither kid deserved to be sent off, in my view. I think they're both really good players, and I think to be sent off in an Ireland minor semi final yeah. is a big deal for, yeah, a, for course, a player yeah. and something that should be avoided unless there's, there's real danger of injury yeah. or hurting somebody. And in neither of those instances in the second, for, for the second offence, was there any danger of injury? Yeah, it was in, a tangle of legs. In fairness to the referee, is it possible that the second one, where the different number was on the jersey, may have confused him a little and then he was told he was wearing the other number earlier. I, I would say so. I mean, he gave yeah. him, he, as Eddie rightly pointed out, he gave him the card and I think it was some of the Kilkenny lads were rolling, hey, that's his second one, he, yeah, needs yeah. To, he needs to go. But I think maybe he didn't realise it and maybe that's why he got the second one. Whether he balanced it up with the, with the Kilkenny one, I'm not really sure. But as I said, just felt, you know, the yeah, ones I feel yeah. for is, is the two youngers that were sent off because it was harsh overall. Okay.